A very good afternoon and uh, welcome to Phil Weaver Automotive in Mearbrow near to Preston on the road between Southport and Preston in fact. It's a lovely autumn day today and we've taken uh, some time just to prepare this beautiful 2016 Mini Paceman Cooper S. Yes, it's the Cooper S. Uh, two litre diesel with a chilli pack and a few added extras. She's looking absolutely splendid. 20, just over 20,000 miles with a full mini service history and there are still uh, at least one mini service to take so it has got the remaining mini TLC pack beautiful car the upgraded wheels which have had um, sandblast and powder coated into this hybrid black which is just suits the car and sets the car off really well it's in midnight grey metallic which is a beautiful colour and we've also added privacy effect windows to the rear three windows two sides and the tailgate so and the red uh, side stripe here which was um, from the Duke John Cooper Works um, catalogue so that can be removed if you don't like it but um, I'm sure you'll agree with me it looks absolutely splendid I drove the car back and I can assure you the car drives exactly as it looks it was a superb drive and a real pleasure to drive it back from the uh, south of England Phil Weaver has been established for over 30 years as a, as a motor trader uh, business and every vehicle undergoes a thorough inspection with a written report which is popped into your deal folder should you buy a car from Philip. As well as that we have over 200 five star reviews and car finance and part exchange are both available. Let me take you into the car and show you the uh, matching tyres and the, there are the wheels absolutely splendid also got with this vehicle the black surrounds around the headlights and the tail lights so the car benefits from the black outline of the headlights there you've got LED I don't think you're going to see this but there's actually a spider's web just uh, a spider's uh, taken up residence so that's going to be good luck for somebody and then we've got the, obviously as you'd imagine, a, a, a scoop here which denotes the S and the further denoted by the S badge there. So a beautiful car. There is the JCW type effect decal. That can be easily removed. We can remove that for you if you don't like it, but we, do, we believe it, it just sort of brightens the outside of the car up. Not too much, just enough. So wonderful job there and it's got the half leather interior which is uh, well unmarked, absolutely unmarked. In fact I'm hard pressed to find anything at all with this vehicle. It's been lovingly cared for. There are no smells, no tobacco or animal odours with the car. It's altogether a beautiful car. It has got the lighter coloured headlining which is nice as well just gives you once you're inside the car a nice sense of roominess twin tail pieces so from the rear you get quite an uh, aggressive look front and rear but particularly at the rear you've got this larger Cooper S bumper with parking sensors in, in the bumper Cooper SD and then you've got the pacement name and in the boot we go run flat tyres so you've got no need to carry a spare although we do have a locking wheel nut four seater car this one so you've got you've got a generous the rear passengers get a generous amounts of uh, space even down to if you can just see that the emblem the mini emblem in the back light lamp units that's the level of detail that many have gone to with this car. Beautiful black roof. Fly. Let's see if we can move him on. Oh, off you go. Um, it's taken residence as well as the spider. Let's hope this, the uh, fly doesn't fly into the, fly into the spider's web. Electric windows, electric heated, well, electric heated mirrors and electric windows. Put my teeth in. Height adjustable seat on here. And you've got the Cooper S, although the light's probably shining back into it. Cooper S there, the kick strip. Multifunction steering wheel. 
six-speed gearbox. It was doing almost 65 miles per gallon when I was driving this car back for a two-litre Cooper S. So obviously it won't do that much of you using it over 75, 80, but that's obviously not safe to do. It's not legal to do that, is it? So I was keeping within the uh, road speed limits on the journey home. Nearly 200 miles. We go far and hard, long and wide to get these cars. It's 23,178 miles. We have both keys, by the way, and a full book pack. So everything that was with the car when it was new is still with it today. Nice dark and defect barometer, which is going back to the minis of the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and even some within the 90s, I think some early 90s mini, the original mini was still being produced, wasn't it? It's a DAB tuner and uh, you've also got a CD player slot. So you've got a CD slot there for your CDs. It's a climate control. There's your air conditioning. Heated screens, sport mode, just alters the performance of the car ever so slightly if you need it. Stop start, you can override it just there. Traction control is defaulted to be on, please do leave it in that position unless you're a qualified racing or rally driver. And even then I would say you're on a public road, so I'd leave it into the on position. But if you ever go off road, if you're fortunate enough to do so, or approved to do so, then remove it if you can just see what the see what the car can do. But otherwise, it's, um, it's there's plenty of excitement in this vehicle. You've got a quite a nice feature here. You've got a sunglass holder, and uh, that can just hold your sunglasses, or you can remove it completely. So nice uh, mini embossed sunglasses holder. Good size glove box, just uh, just here. Locking wheel nuts just there. We've got the books inside the office. Uh, you've got extended storage down here. And both seats on the rear are Isofix. So if you have a young child or someone, um, a grandson or granddaughter, then you've got Isofix seating in the back and the seats slide as well. So there's lots of entrance room into the rear seats. I think that's about it really. Oh, forgive me, I've not shown you. It's also got automatic headlights and the xenons as well and you've got the uh, although it's not been activated I don't know whether mini let's just try it no I didn't think it has so you, you've got a button there for voice control but it hasn't been activated so whether a mini whether or not a mini dealer could do that I'm, I'm not sure it is Bluetooth you can receive a call you just can't call up by voice to the phone book um, and you should only be picking up calls if you're able to do so of course anyway we don't don't encourage people to do that but my phone is connected there so it has, it has got it has got Bluetooth and across the other side of the steering wheel is your cruise control which is really useful in uh, traffic conditions where there's a speed restriction so I'll just turn the engine down a little bit and we'll take you outside again just to give you one last look of the outside of the car but as I've mentioned already, Phil has over 200 five-star reviews, so you can you can rest assured that this vehicle, when you see it, will be as good as the video shows it and the images. Phil's got over just I think 94 images of this car, so there are 94 images plus a 360-degree uh, montage of inside the car, so you can spin the car inside. <laughs> just by uh, moving your mouse or moving your finger on your iPad. Um, very, very clever technology these days. So that's our 2016 on a 16 plate, 23,000 mile Cooper S Paceman diesel two litre with a full mini service record available with our free anywhere in the country delivery if required. We'll come and see Phil here at the garage. Uh, part exchange is most welcome and also finance is welcome and you can apply online you don't need to be physically here so that's everything get in touch with philip open seven days a week we just ask that at the weekends you telephone ahead first have a fabulous day and we hope to hear off you on this beautiful 2016 mini paceman cooper sd chili pack